In this video, you're going to be recording the differences between video codecs and video containers. You'll be looking that up online. You're going to obviously be using Photo Booth to record yourself, giving the explanation of what the two are. Now, right now, I'm recording myself in Photo Booth, and then I'm going to be taking this video and moving it into iMovie. So this is the part where you give your explanation for the video codec versus the container, and then you'll be taking this video, which will show up down below here, and dragging that into iMovie. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Now this is my new video clip that's down here, a whopping 15 seconds. I'm going to take this off to the side here, and I can bring up iMovie. Now we want to bring up iMovie 10, not iMovie 9.09. .09. So I'm going to go into my applications. And if you don't have this on your dock yet, to make sure it is, One of the nice things about the new iMovie is everything is actually in HD so that you have the options between 480p, 720p, and 1080p, which are really the main presets for YouTube now. So now once iMovie is here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to start a new movie. You can pick any of these themes. There's lots of different ones. Gives you an idea what it looks like. And then you can fit your video into it. Now, for our purposes, we're just going to go with a basic no theme. We'll be using some of the other themes a little bit later here. So go ahead and click Create. And then you name your movie. And then OK. Now, the basics of iMovie are, have remained the same for the last 10 years. You always have like a workspace that you import things into. You have a uh, timeline where you can organize your movie clips. And, uh, you know, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this. Here's our timeline at the bottom of our clips. This is our library up here that we can drag stuff out of. You can see these are all the past tutorials that I've worked on, you know, since we've begun the class and there's some specific video clips and that. Now, our video clip is over in Photo Booth, so I'm just going to move over there, and I'm going to grab this clip here, and I'm going to drag it out of Photo Booth into iMovie. And you can see it shows up in a nice uh, film strip kind of thumbnail thing, and that. And if I hit play, it'll start going through it. Okay. Now, if there's anything that you want to cut out of there, like I have a lot of space at the beginning here that I don't really do anything, I can go ahead and cut that out. An easy way to do that is if it's at the beginning, I can just take this and drag it right up to the part where I want to come in. And we've got that. Now, if there's any other pieces that you have to cut, you'll have to place your cursor where you want it. And then you'll have to go up to Modify and Split Clip, which is otherwise Command-B. Okay, and that'll cut it into two different clips, and you can cut the piece out that you want. Very similar to GarageBand, what we did there. Now, in the coming days, what we'll be working on is we'll be working on getting titles, transitions, all that different kind of stuff that's in here. For now, we're just importing and we're exporting so we know what's going on. So, let's go up to um, File at this point because I've got everything in there that I need. And I'm going to go to Share. Now, if you're going to actually um, put this on the server, best way to do that is to go share the file. and This will give you the actual movie file that you want to work with. Now, here it automatically detects what settings you had. So, Photo Booth records in 720p. So, I can go ahead and keep that the same. For our purposes, we're going to drop, drop it down because we don't need that high of a quality for this movie. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next here. Now this is where I choose where I'm going to save it to, so I'm going to just drop it onto my desktop at this point and click Save. Up in the upper right hand corner it gives you a status bar and you'll see it sh slowly load up here as it exports the video. should go pretty quick because it's a short video. Now meanwhile, on my desktop you can see it's already created the holder for the MP4 and then when it's done it's going to give me a little message here and probably MPEG stream clip will pop up on your computer as well because that's kind of the default player. 
and I can go ahead and close that. It says my share was successful, I can close that. And now I go ahead and put my video file onto the server, explaining what the difference is between the codecs and the containers. Um, that's it for iMovie today. Thanks for joining us.